Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Tony. This is the 15 Minute Gamer and welcome to Star Citizen. Today I'm covering the patch notes for Alpha 3.15 which hit Evo Carty this morning. But before we get into that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell, smash that like button and comment below to let me know what you're most looking forward to and in the corner of the screen, you will see my Star Citizen referral code. Use that for 5,000 starting credits in-game when you sign up. So get clicking on there. Right, so let's start off with a very strong rumor for the patch. The 400i is definitely the 315 straight to flight. That's a rumor. We're going to say definitely rumor. Rumor definitely. It's also getting three paints in the upcoming update as well as its constant teasing which clearly indicates it's getting very close there might also be the argo raft but that's a little bit less likely because there's some issues there apparently and haven't really discussed it so i think the 400i is definitely going to be the straight to flight ship on to the patch the testing focus for this one is personal infantry healing and actor status hospitals star lifter hercules a2 bombs and orison v Two, as normal, we're going to start with all the known issues in this patch. Ground vehicles are not accessible at outposts. Location infantry is being capped to 100 items. Players stuck in infinite loading loop. When swapping undersuits on a player character, there is a delay. Objective markers and QT nav points are grayed out. Unable to claim insurance on vehicles. Resetting the character can cause the player to lose all items from personal infantry. Player is unable to invite another player into their party. When collecting minerals or metals with the extraction mode on ships, the cargo randomly empties. There is a small area of no gravity in the airlock of Grim Hex. That sounds a lot of fun to me. Players are able to temporarily heal an injured player past their max HP threshold. Medical pens cannot be used on actors that are in a down state. Players will disappear if they enter an overdose state when on board a vehicle. You cannot stack perchable items. Multiple heavy armor arms and clips. You know when you put the Moby glass up and it clips through. I've had that for so long. All backpack meshes are missing when viewed in the kiosk. After placing a dead player in the back of a ship with a tractor beam, the player will disappear when walking towards it. Destroying mission spawned reinforcement type ships does not always trigger the call to arm mission rewards. The AI usable screens inside the UGF will cause the player to get stuck. Missiles can hit the player ship when they're fired while the ship is moving forward. Sounds quite annoying. Area commander modes beside free flight will be missing ships. AC announcer audio callout for match over. You won, lost the match can be heard multiple times. AC players can spawn facing the wrong way. And yeah, that's it for the known issues. I missed a few out there that weren't particularly interested. New features, locations, hospitals. Addition of unique location hospitals to landing zones and clinics in the space stations where players will be able to respawn, heal injuries and buy medical supplies from these locations. This adds the additional emergency elevator inside landing zone hangars that will transport players directly to the hospital. The first iteration will have hospitals in Orison, New Babbage, Grim Hex, the clinics and space stations. Players will originally spawn in their first iteration at Area 18 in Lowville and have their default hospital set their corresponding orbital stations. Lowville and Area 18 will be getting their hospitals in a future release. AI is getting unmanned missile defense turrets, addition of AI controlled defense turrets at space stations and underground facilities in the PU. Gameplay. Personal Infantry T0 with Asset Manager V1. With the implementation of Personal Infantry, players will now physically store weapons, gadgets, consumables, healing items and more on their person and in vehicles via backpacks, pockets and containers. This utilizes the new eye cache for persistence wherever players travel. The new system removes the older infantry app from the Moby Glass and adds a new local infantry system by pressing I on the keyboard. Current landing zones share infantries with their low orbit stations above the planet. Tabs allow navigation between location, vehicle, external and personal infantry. Players can navigate between each tab to move items from one infantry to another. Note, two of the same tabs cannot be opened at the same time. If a player places the cursor over any item in their infantry, they will be presented with the information given in shops. 
Next to the tool tips on ammo is remaining bullets of the magazine, armor and clothing, backpacks, torso and legs, typically have their own infantry container and can be opened using the infantry system, which again is the I button. Placing any of these into location infantry or into a container will create a nested infantry, which can be opened via right mouse button over the item. So that all sounds pretty cool to me. It's been missing for a long time and I'm excited they really got that in. Home initial location. Before starting the game and initially spawning, a player must now specify their home location. This is where they will initially spawn via the front end. Friend options to join party are disabled until this location has been set. Any items entitled via store purchases, subscriber rewards, etc. will be added to the home location's infantry. Each starting location, rest stop and port Olisar have a corresponding location infantry. If items are left in this location infantry, when the player leaves said location, then the items will remain at the location and cannot be accessed from the infantry AI until the player returns. Character infantry. The infantry is no longer restricted to commodities and can contain any type of FPS armor, clothing, weapon and consumable. The player character is now displayed at the center of the infantry UI with a controllable camera. Holding mouse 2 allows movement via like an orbit camera and the ability to drag held and equipped items off the character into the infantry UI container and vice versa from the container onto the character. Items can be dragged and dropped from the infantry container or the character directly onto the floor. Weapon attachments can be dragged directly onto weaponry that is held or equipped onto the character. If a player is downed or killed, other players will be able to loot via the interaction menu and take all the items from the player. When a player dies, their body will come lootable by players with all the items until their death for two hours before they spawn. So you get two hours to raid your friends. Vehicle infantry, each ship and ground vehicle with a traversable interior has its own vehicle infantry, which is only accessible whilst in said said vehicle. Any player can access their own instant vehicle infantry when inside. Healing T0 and actor status T1, complete overhaul of the healing actor health systems. These two systems are linked for players to determine the effects of damage to an actor and allow themselves and other players to action on these effects. These effects range from minor visual and audio feedback to state changes where player control is removed and to death and respawning of the character. Incapacitated state. When a player is damaged enough, they will enter an incapacitated state. Easier said than done. Where they enter ragdoll, they are unable to move or interact and their vision fades in and out. A time until death is displayed to the player which once expired leads to their death and respawn at a medical facility. The duration can be shortened by receiving additional damage or like, because it'll have active statuses like bleeding, dehydration and extreme temperature. Instant death can be caused by receiving a large amount of damage in one instance. When a player is incapacitated, a button prompt is displayed to trigger a service beacon, which if taken up by another player, creates a mission for said player to revive the incapacitated player. Death and regeneration. After a player dies, they will now regenerate in a medical bed instead of a hab bed. By default, the player will regenerate their home location set via the menu at the beginning. The player may set a different regeneration location by visiting the hospital or clinic and navigating the UI on a medical bed, medical bed's end screen or dedicated regeneration terminal. A player may reset the regeneration location to their home location via the same screens. A lot of words. Injuries. When an actor's body part, head, torso, left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg is damaged, a corresponding amount of wear damage is applied to the, that same body part. Healing increases HP but does not affect wear damage. When enough wear damage is accrued, a body part will gain an injury. Further wear to the same body part can lead to increased injury. Injuries add symptoms that affect gameplay. Injury severity is classified as minor, moderate, and severe with corresponding medical facility tiers 3, 2, and 1. Tier 3 can remove a minor. Tier 2 can remove, remove minor and moderate. Tier 1 can remove any injury. Blood drug level, or BDL, increases when a player is given a medical drug via a med gun or multi-tool med pens or medical beds or drinks alcohol. 
as a player's BDL increases, they will eventually enter drunk locomotion and be drunk. When BDL reaches 100%, the player will enter the overdose state. BDL decays over time. The overdose state results in the player entering ragdoll, being able to move or interact in their vision fading in and out. It's an interesting one. Medical drugs. Injury symptoms can be temporarily masked by medical drugs. Health can be regenerated and the stunned effects of the overdose state temporarily removed at the cost of accruing BDL per dosage. Drugs can be delivered via an injection pen, healing beam, med pen, etc. Or medical beds. Drugs remain in the character system for a specified duration. There's a lot more on that, but basically we've seen it in a lot of survival games before. Take some painkillers, take some drugs, and it does that. Medical gun and multi-tool healing attachment. Healing beam. Players are able to administrate drugs via a healing beam within five meters of their target character. Both medical gun and multi-tool display health and active status information about the character they're pointed at. The back display of both shows how much medical ammo is available and either the current target's character's health or the reason they can't be fired upon. And there'll be two UI AR cards they will tell you where you're aiming and the body part. Medical beds. Each medical bed has a care facility tier rating, as we discussed before, 3, 2, 1, which determines which injuries it can remove and which it cannot. Medical beds animate upon a character lying down so that an interactable screen is visible, providing several tabs containing different functionality. So you can look at your status, you can administrate drugs, treatments, etc. Hospital gameplay, players can enter a hospital lobby, reserve a room via a check-in screen to make use of its med bed, change their respawn location, purchase all medical items from a pharmacy shop, use the elevator to enter the floor their assigned room is on, NPC doctors and nurses are populated throughout the hospital rooms with a doctor welcoming the player into their room if they checked in, or welcome them then awake in the medical bed if a player is just regenerated or has been rescued bombs the addition of bombing mechanics in star citizen which allows ships such as the new star lifter a2 to drop bombs the system is accessed using the current missile operator mode if your ship is equipped with bombs while active it will give players a selection marker by pressing right alt and t that allows them to define an area where they want the bomb to drop. As these bombs drop with gravity and are not controlled after release, players will get a new UI alignment and drop HUD feature, HUD feature after selecting a target location on the ground that they can follow to get close to the center of their target area as possible. All the other behaviors of the mom will apply here, such as increasing the number of bombs to drop at once, waiting for them to arm, etc., etc. Ships and vehicles, Crusader Starlifter, Hercules A2. New weapons, we've got the two new medical tools. Feature updates, we've got Orison Landon Zone version 2. The addition of more shops across to expand various services available in Orison. This includes the Crusader Industry Showroom, which displays the Hercules Starlifter, Ares Starfighter, and the Mercury Star Runner. Port Olisar relocation. Port Olisar has been moved closer to Crusader and in an orbit above Orison. Ships and vehicles. The Gladius is now gold standard. Weapon and items. We've got backpacks. So there's going to be some new backpacks as well. A couple of major bug fixes, which we don't need to go into. And five client crashes. Three server crashes. A back-end service timeout fix and some service performance optimizations. Wow, that was a lot of patch notes. Whew. I'm a bit tired after that. Go back to bed. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Of course, let me know what you think. And I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.